Hey everyone, thanks for clicking, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, doing all the good stuff. Pop quiz, football fans, as selected by the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Are you able to name the NFL 1980s all-decade team, first team, kick returner? I think I heard someone out there say Billy White Shoes Johnson, and that is a great guess. Billy White Shoes was the 1980s all-decade first team punt returner and the 1970s all-decade second team kick returner. So, unfortunately, this video is not about him. Sorry about that, Mr. White Shoes, but way to go. John Taylor? John Taylor, also another great guest. John Taylor, NFL, 1980s all-decade second team punt returner. Rick Upchurch. Ah, Rick Upchurch, also a great guest. Great guest. Rick Upchurch, 1980s all-decade second team kick returner and the 1970s first team all-decade kick returner. Very impressive feat. And an even more impressive feat when you consider the fact Rick Upchurch did not return one kickoff in the 1980s. Do you give up? Well, you're gonna have to, because this video's gotta move on, so that it too can give it up. Nineteen eighties NFL all decade first team kick returner, Mike Nelms. I'm not afraid of getting hit. I don't mind contact. I think I can catch the ball and I think I can still get yards when others can't. Another wobbly boot. Nelms at the 25. 30. 35. 40. And he's to the 41. No whistle. 45. 50. What an effort by Nelms. He's all the way to the 39 yard line. Acquired from the Canadian Football League last year, he set punt return records in the CFL when they don't block for you. He can run them. What an amazing run by number 21, Nelms. And that's what we said earlier. Mike Nelms was a madman. And a bad man. I'm a bad man. By no means your conventional NFL return man. He didn't believe in fair catching. He didn't believe in letting the punt bounce inside the 10-yard line. And he didn't believe in being tackled. Not only was the way he played unconventional, his road to the NFL was also unconventional. There's Nelms. Well, you could miss him just watching him walk through the lobby of the hotel. Because I didn't get recruited by a lot of big schools. Uh, I was always told, you're too skinny, you're too slow, you're not that bright. So. After beginning his college career at Sam Houston State, Nelms soon transferred to Baylor University. Yeah, Baylor was really good for me. I mean, Baylor was really good. I mean, it, it gave me um, a nice platform, um, visibility, that I, I don't think I would have gotten uh, yeah, out of Sam Houston State. When, when I got drafted by Buffalo, they drafted me as a corner. I got in the line for kick returners, and the coach came over and said, Mike, what are you doing? I said, well, I, I, I want to you know, try returning kicks. He says, hey, get out of the line, man. So said, what? Get out of the line. It was a little, at the time, too big, too tall, too slow. And when I got to Canada, I got in line, and they said, sure. So I got an opportunity to return kicks in Canada. Washington was my last trip. I got here. Uh, they, they appeared to negotiate in good faith. And I understand from Bobby later that, that uh, Willie Wood had called him and, and, and spoke favorably of me. And, and so... They stepped up. Ethan Mike Nelm, another Bobby Butler find in Canada. He led the CAFL and returns a year ago, and he'll get the call at the 20. The setting up. Oh, that's good. Right there, that's good one. The Redskins and their special team. This is what they do to you constantly. To the 39 yard line goes Mike Nelm. Another one of those Canadians that Bobby Bender picked up. He was a good defensive back up there as well. Camarillo gets it away as they put a big rush on him. Great punt. Great punt. Good coverage. However, Nelms is able to shake free of it. And Mike Nelms might go all the way. Mike Nelms is gone. I don't believe it's it. It's a touchdown for the Redskins. No flags. Touchdown. Watch 
this. Sanford got down there. The coverage was good, but once Nelms shook the initial attempt at the tackle by Sanford, he was gone. Camarillo's kick was a beauty, 46 yards. But Nelms' return was something else, you got, 75. You got a feel for the New England Patriots. They have historically had bad punting. They... Nelms from the five-yard line. Nelms picks up an opening and breaks it off out of the 40-yard line, still on his feet and sprawls out to the 45-yard line, and the Redskins roar right back. Well, you can see why those first two kickoffs were kicked out of bounds. They were trying to keep the ball away from Nums, who's, uh, Nums, who's a, a pro bowler in the last couple of years, and I guess they figure instead of giving up the penalty, they're going to kick it to him, and they may have to go back to trying to keep the ball away from him. There will only be two games behind Denver and the Raiders in the AFC West, and here comes Mike Nums. Nums over the 30. Nelms out to the 45-yard line. Nelms from the 11-yard line. So many times, Mike Nelms comes up with a big return That's when it's good. needed the most, and he gets to the 45-yard line. Nelms back there. <laughs> All right, here's Nelms at the 25. But Nelms did not make his living as a defensive back. Number 21 earned his paycheck as professional football's premier kick return. Nelms seemed to be in a class by himself as he led the NFL in average yards per kickoff return and established three new club records. In four yard line. Nelms has got some room. He's got only set the end. Now he's got somebody else chasing him. Nelms finally taken to the ground by Dennis Thurman. Mike Nelms, 76 yard kickoff return. A 76-yard return that has been credited possibly with changing the momentum of that game. Talk to me about that moment. I'm sick enough to, to love those kind of moments. <laughs> Some people shrink away from it if it's a crucial time, you know, kick me the ball. Mm -hmm. And um, they did. Shy of the Super Bowl record, plunk it to King, 80 yards. You saw earlier in the day on NFL 82. Short kick, Nelms at the 11, 20, 30. Look at him go! Mike Nelms. What a great return by Mike Nelms. And Nelms has to be one of the most important offensive weapons on the field. 76 yards last week on a kickoff return. A great return here. In terms of your skills, there were some rules in the Canadian Football League, which I know later helped you in the NFL, such as there was a no fair catch rule. I decided not to fair catch after um, George Michaels uh, criticized me after a game. I, I, I was on the 10-yard line. I tried to slide sideways, and I said, okay, I'll fair catch it. I fair caught. I had backed up about four yards, so I, when I fair caught it, I was on the six. And he walked, yeah, and he really criticized, lit into me. Mm -hmm. And I, I got upset at first, and I said, wait a minute, let me look at this. And I, and I asked myself, why do you fair catch? I said, because that's what, that's what everybody, I mean, that's what they do. So why do you fair catch? I didn't have an answer. I mean, why do I fair catch? Because everyone else does. Mm -hmm. Well, does it make sense for me? No. I'm not afraid of getting hit. I don't mind contact. I think I can catch the ball, and I think I can still get yards when others can't. So I decided, psh, I'm not fair catching. Danny White in the point, and it's a good one. Mike Nelms back. Retreats to his 20. Hit off by Rod Hill immediately. Gets away from Rod Hill. Stays on his feet. Now it goes airborne, lands on his head. Michael Nelms is another one of those punt returners that isn't going to fair catch. Now watch Rod Hill. Nelms is catching the ball. Here's Hill right there. He has to let him catch it. He goes head to head with him. He just didn't wrap his arms. Now watch what happens here. Boom, boom, whap, ooh. That speaks well for the helmets and for the athletic ability of Mike Nelms. It's 7-0 Washington over Dallas. Nelms. Flowers 
was right in his face. Shaw then hits him. Nelson stands on his feet. Punt returner Mike Nelms excelled on a unit that thrived on second effort, reckless daring, and so much more. Boy, this is a good looking kick. Nelms is driven back to the 25. 23 now. That's the way he gets away. Roby hangs this one straight up. Take it at the 23. He does not like the fair catch. He had an open field. All the Dolphins overran him. Yes. If he would have got loose, he would have had 25, 30 yards before he got close to a Dolphin. It will seem the Dolphins, I think, are surprised. You see him looking for the ball downfield as Nelms comes over. Good hands. He makes the catch running by all the defenders. So well got it. Robert if, so well. If he gets for away from that tackle, he's off to the race. Kick by Leviger. Nelms back to the 21 yard line. It's a waste of tackle, gets to the left side. Nelms to the 41 yard line. Quick return by Mike Nelms. Well, that Nelms is tough. He's a Houdini back there. Herrera hits it deep. Mike Nelms lets it go to Jackson at the goal line. Wilbur Jackson at the 15. The ground, but he hurt himself a little on this one. I have a fine return that time by Nelms. He was a man that a lot of teams wanted from the Canadian Football League. He had six or seven clubs bidding for his services. You can see why on a return like this. Right, and we'll see here. He has the gloves and things on it. As he comes up the sideline, and he had one more block, he could have taken this thing all the way. See, he does a nice job of getting away from tackles, but it's right here. See, the one more person that makes him level up and square where he just couldn't take off and sprint up that sideline. Three, Tom Morris. Helms from Baylor, went to the Canadian League, now back to his 29, 35, look at the balance, still on his feet to the 37, maybe the 38. My blocking, they, they always would block. Turn teams cleared the way for Mike Nelms, who set a Redskin career record for punt return yardage in only his third season. They've got Green back there too, but Nelms feels the punt at the 45, Nelms to midfield to the 45 to the 40, inside the 40 to the 36. CFL was extremely important, I, I honed my skills there and it allowed you some freedoms, it allowed you uh, to do weird things, you know, you, I'd do stuff like wait and then catch the ball running forward. Nelms coming over quickly, feels it at the 32, gets away with one, gets away from two. Bates and company are there. Short kick, Nelms, 25, 30, and up to the 36-yard line. Today. Nelms on the fly, over the 30-yard line of the 32. Play ball hard on that, Greg. Come on now. Harry Buford averaging a little over 43 yards a punt. is back on fourth down for San Diego. It's a beauty. Takes Nelms way back to the 20-yard line. Flag is down. Could have a clip. Made the tackle for Miami. Tackle for Miami. the ball away from Nums, who's a, uh, Nelms, who's a, a pro bowler in the last couple of years, and I guess they figure instead of giving up the penalty, they're going to kick it to him, and they may have to go back to trying to keep the ball away from him. Jones calls for and makes the fair catch and bobbles. And the one and four Redskins kickoff. This will be Mike Harden, the rookie from Michigan. And Harden spins and twists, he gets up to the 24-yard line. And out over the 15 to the 7. His kick is high and short. Whittington is going to handle it on the 8-yard line to the 10. Hit by Bobby Hammond and moves forward. Parsons punt. Nails fielded it up there. Cut it off. Down. Nelms is hit at the 
and he gets it away. Not too good a kick. And Mike Nelms gets a good bounce and now a bad bounce as it went by him. And it rolls down inside the 25-yard line. And it rolls down inside the 25 -yard line. Danny White will punt. You had a quick look at Mike Nelms, a dangerous return man for the Redskins. Look at that punt. Oh, that's pretty. He hung it so high. Wait a minute. That's clipping. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> that was kind of... gets called for by Mike Nelms. He lets it go into the end zone. Aaron Mitchell was the man who was upset by Mike Nelms. <laughs> and it, well, it looked a little like... Mitchell was looking back for the ball. He says, I'm going to get it. And about that time, he got drilled by Nelms in the back. I tell you, as high as he kicked that football to Danny White, there should have been All right. more, more Cowboys down there. Look at Aaron Mitchell, 34. I know it's up here somewhere. And Nelms <laughs> says, well, you're not going to get it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Mike Nelms takes it to the five-yard line, and we're underway. Nelms hurdles over the... 15-yard line. Out. Uh, Holster was out there with him, and right now we've got a start. O'Donoghue for St. Louis. Redskins win the toss. Bring it out. Good field position. Remember, as Coach Joe Gibbs says, this could be the best battle of specialty teams in the entire league. The rain pouring down at RFK Stadium in the nation's capital, putting a damper on what would have been the 111th consecutive sellout crowd here at RFK Stadium. Three-man set for the Redskins. And it will come down to Nelms at about the 8. Mike Nelms, who had a 75-yard touchdown return with a punt in the first half. It lunges out across the 35 to the 37-yard line. Redskins taking it. Are they going after it? Yes. The man was in there but didn't get it. Nelms will take the ball at the 25. Gets away from a man. Tries to cut back. He's at the 30. At the 35 to the 40. He's going. He's at the midfield strike. He's at the 40. He's gone. Kissing goodbye. Joe Gibbs said he needed a big play from his return team, the special teams, and he got it right there.